What's going on? It's your tech homeboy coming to you live, almost live, not quite, but please still hit the share, like, subscribe if this video is applicable to you, if you think it adds value to your life. Go ahead and do that. What are we chatting about today? Are you aware? Did you even know about the T-Mobile layoffs? They're laying off several thousand of their workforce. I'm going to talk about how that applies to you if you're looking for a job. I'm going to talk about why tech is still the way to go despite this news. I'm also going to chat a little bit about the FIBA basketball updates, uh, USA beating Greece, Japan beating Finland. I'm going to chat about that a little bit, and then I will end it off with asking the question everyone is thinking is noah lyle's right is he right about being a world champion or not being a world champion if you are in america like nba or nfl all right that's the question everyone's wondering so what did you miss about the t-mobile workforce layoff i'll let you know here in just a second before i go into the story itself and i'll be sure to um paste a few screenshots from the article we're following and you can also find it in the description this affects seven percent of the workforce they plan to lay off five thousand employees or about seven percent of the workforce over the next first five weeks um, employees will receive a notice um, at the end of september about their situation um, they received a letter on thursday from their ceo um, discussing how they plan to stream streamline their company and stuff um, and then he sent out a letter to going into detail about the severance package, but this affects 7% of the workforce, all right? It says mostly roles that are um, duplicative and uh, middle management based. And now I'm looking for, okay, here it is. Um, back office and corporate jobs that are primarily duplicative to other roles and will reduce the company's middle management layers. The CEO said in a letter to employees on Thursday, okay? Retail and consumer care staff who work directly with customers will not be affected. So if you work in retail and T-Mobile or formerly, no, uh, formerly uh, Sprint, um, you will not be affected. If you're working like Best Buy or Target or you're, you're in your own uh, chain store, you will not be affected, all right? I didn't hear anything about technology workers, but we're going to keep diving into it, all right? So despite the Sprint merger that happened in about 2020, um, T-Mobile is laying off 7% of the workforce. That is a lot. Uh, normally, in my experience, when I'm with a company and they're acquiring another company or they're like in a growth phase, um, you can expect long-term stability, um, but that wasn't the case here. And let's talk a little bit about what the workers were informed about the layoffs and how layoffs differ for tech workers, all right? Let's talk about who's affected. All right, so this is directly from the CEO. He, he sent out a letter to his people. I'm going to read... Um, a little bit about the severance package blessings here. He said, we will also provide competitive severance payments based on tenure, plus an additional 60 days minimum of transition leave, which includes pay and benefits, plus accelerated vesting of their next stock vest, continuation of, tu of tuition reimbursement benefits, that's major, career transition services, and a new T-Mobile alumni service discount, good for life. Importantly, employees leaving us in good standing will have privileged access to T-Mobile hiring and recruiting, uh, for appropriate roles now and in the future as we continue to build our organization in other areas. All right. So a lot of great things here. Uh, severance pay based on tenure, 60 days minimum of transition leave, which includes pay benefits. Okay. And accelerated vesting of your stock and continuation of tuition reimbursement benefits. Listen, guys, I don't know if you've ever been let go from a company and you've been provided all these things, but if you have, you are a great standing. A lot of people are not. And a lot of people have been with great companies and they still don't get all these things, okay? So it, they're not just getting kicked to the curb. They're not being told to kick rocks. They're given a, a nice package, a nice amount of time that includes uh, the door being open for other T-Mobile roles. Um, I remember I, I once worked with a, uh, a Fortune 100 company. And trust me, trust me, they treat their people just fine when they are let go okay trust me <laughs> trust me um sometimes you get compensation packages that are worth more than the time you actually spent at the company this one says it's based on tenure but you might get in the company you work there for two months and then give you a six-month compensation package and then lay you off 
and then continue to pay you as you search for another job. They might even have resources to help you find a job. And what's awesome, they have two tuition reimbursement. Okay, so if you um, wanted to take a certification like AWS or AZ900 or some kind of Azure certification, you can be searching for a role. You can have your company pay for all that training and education that is not that would not be out of your pocket. That is major. Okay, so that's a little bit more context and some personal experience that I've had being a tech worker, being in the industry. Okay, and you still should be a tech worker. If you are pursuing a role, you should still be a tech worker. I know T-Mobile is a telecom company. They have a lot of non-tech roles. And in that same vein, you have a lot of non-tech companies, all right, quote-unquote non-tech companies, that also have tech roles. So don't let the news of T-Mobile laying off 7% of the workforce, don't let that deter you from going into this space. This space is still worth going into. Like I said, you can find um, tech roles out in a traditionally non-tech company. So just because you see these headlines doesn't mean it affects you, all right? Lastly, lastly, the best time to enter tech is now. Do it now. There's no time to waste, all right? If COVID or some kind of flu um, resurfaces and you need to be able to work from home, have income from home, I would hate for you to be stuck on the other side of the fence, all right? You never know what your current employer is doing. Um, the best thing to do is to get that skill that allows you to work from home and be of value to your company remotely, all right? So, basketball, just shortly. I don't have any notes for this, but Japan and Finland, their game was crazy. So, Finland has marking in. I don't know any of the Japanese players, but man, they were going back and forth. They were yelling at each other, marking and dunked on somebody real nasty. Um, Japan was down by like 15 at one point. They came back, and it was a crazy game. That one of their point guards was hitting like a bunch of step back threes. Oh man, it was crazy. It was a crazy game. One of the best games I've seen so far. Right, Team USA. Moving on, they blew out Greece. That was easy work. Um, Giannis' brother was there. I think his name is Thanis. Thanis. Um, they blew out Greece. That was an exciting game. Austin Reeves went off. Just easy. Okay. Just like I said, easy, easy work. Um, if you think somebody can beat Team USA, please leave a comment below. i love to see your opinion. Let me know I'm not being biased, okay? But I don't think anybody can... I don't think anybody can beat Team USA. I just don't see it happening, all right? I'll eat my words if, I, if, if, if a team beats Team USA. No problem with that, all right? So moving on. Noah Lyles, he created and stirred up a lot of confusion and controversy and have people scratching their head and trying to figure out is left, right, is right, left. And the people are saying, yes, right is left today. Today, right is left, okay? Lyles is under a little bit fire for stating that NBA champions are not world champions. Yes, I know. He said the unforgivable statement of the NBA champions, we can go ahead and say NFL champions, are not world champions. Now, Noah Lyles is a sprinter. He's an Olympic sprinter, right? We've got all the Olympic sports going on. I have a secret to tell you guys, all right? Th this is my position. Everyone else in the world thinks this okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i know but everyone else in the world thinks this it's not just no allows he just happened to say it out loud all right no one nobody except you guys thinks this all right it's just you nobody else thinks this it's like the metric system right it's just us liberia and i think myanmar or something we're the only ones that don't want to use the metric system. The rest of the world has understood that, no, this is the preferable system that actually makes the most sense. So no allows you committed the unforgivable sin of actually say of actually stating the obvious and bursting the American bubble that we live in. All right. I, I saw a poll. Uh, I think it was ESPN poll. And majority of the people disagree with the Niles, but but only by but only by a couple percentage. So that lets me know that it's not, I think it was like 54% disagree with Lyle. So that, that, that gives me a lot of hope. 
that gives me a lot of hope that a lot of people who are consuming this information understand that he's right and we're wrong. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I remember I had a cousin, um, like, in 2012 or something, fresh from Nigeria, right? He asked a similar question. He said, how can you only play against teams in America? This is He's referring to football, right? Not football. How can you only play against other teams in America and call yourself Super Bowl World Champions? All right. That was in 2012. It's 2023, and that question has yet to be answered. All right. So that is my take on the Noah Lyles comment. Bravo to you, Lyles. But, yes, you, you can't be bursting American bubbles like that, man. All right. So hit the like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Is Noah Lyles crazy or are we the crazy ones? Is the metric system harder or easier? I think it's then what they call it the imperial system or the standard system. All right. Tell me what FIBA basketball games you are looking forward to watching. And tell me what role you're pursuing in tech. Tell me if you've been affected and if you've been through a similar massive layoff in one of the Fortune 100 or 200 companies. All right. I love to hear about it and see and, um, and, and you know, be able to share my experience with yours as well. All right. So if you have any questions. If you need somebody to lean on, you know who to hit up. It's your tech homeboy, and I'm out. Thank you for being so quiet while that I records. Thank you, Bubba, for being so quiet while daddy records. Say hi. Hey, y'all. Say hey, YouTube. You don't want to say nothing? <laughs>